What's up, folks? Welcome back to the Country Boy TV channel. And today, I'm going to be telling you the top five cringy slash annoying dippers. But first things first, over here on the Country Boy TV channel, we got to pack us a dip. Grizzly Wintergreen today, folks. Tell me down below in the comments what you're packing. Run on over to Mud Jug and get you the greatest spittoon of all the times. But without further ado, folks, let's hop right into the video. The number one and cringiest dipper of all time is the Reed Dipper. Yes, folks, we all know that guy that he'll throw in a dip for about two hours. You know, get all the shit out of it that you want, the nicotine and the flavor and all that fuck. And throw it right back in the can. What the fuck is the point? Like, bruh, dip is like $3 a can. At least where I live at. Not that fucking expensive. And you're good. You don't need to fucking re-dip all the damn time. Now, one thing that I will say I'll do is if, let's say I'm chilling at home and, you know, next thing I know my mom comes in, she's like, dinner time. And I just packed me a lip about five minutes ago. I'll take my dip out and I'll put it like on top of my can or lay it right here on my table. That is it. The second cringiest dipper is the lady dipper. Now, this is my personal opinion, and it's not necessarily the fact that it's a girl that dips. I don't judge a girl that dips. I'm talking about, you know, the wannabe country girl. You know, she shakes her ass all the time for Luke Bryant. She has pictures of Luke Combs, Luke Bryant, all that shit all over her wall, and uh, fucking Justin Bieber on the other side. She'll throw her some booty shorts on and some boots that she's never worked in for a fucking Instagram picture. Yeah, that's the lady dipper I'm talking about. You know, she'll throw her a little bit, a little bitty nugget in, and then she'll be, oh, I'm buzzing my ass off, baby. And then, you know, she'll swallow a little bit of it, throw it out. I ain't never dipping again, and she'll throw you another one in in a minute. And I'm just like, bitch, shut the fuck up. If you're going to dip... Dip like a fucking human being. Nobody wants to see your little bitch ass whine about packing a lip. The third cringy dipper has to be the fruity guy. We all know that guy. You know, he dips him skull berry, skull citrus, skull apple, all that fuck. Well, fuck. And, you know, he tries to act like the baddest motherfucker in the town. Just don't. You're a pussy. You know, you'll walk up to him and be like, Hey, man, can I get a dip? And he'll pull out. Yeah, man, I got the finest of the finest. And it's skull berry blend. Don't dip the fucking worst dip of all time. The fucking shit should have never been made. The fourth cringy dipper. Now this kind of can be cringy and kind of not be cringy. It's the cheap guy. You know, he'll dip him some kayak and shit like that. And he'll try to act like the baddest motherfucker around. Yet he's never even had a pinch of grizzly wintergreen. And, you know, like Stoker's, for example, it's a cheap dip, you know, $13 for a 10-can tub, but it's good. You know, for a year, Stoker's was my daily dip, and, you know, Stoker's is one of the few brands of dip, in my opinion, 
that give a flying fuck about the dipper. A lot of dip companies, they're just in it for the money, folks. They'll do whatever they can to cut corners and produce a cheaper product and yet skyrocket the price on you. That's kind of fucked up. Stokers, no, nah, their, their goals are let's make the best dip we can at the best price we can. And I love that. And the fifth, sorry about that, guys. I kind of went brain dead. Kind of went brain dead. Just shut the fuck up. The fifth, cringy dipper. And, you know, this is one of those that it could go either way. You know, everybody acts their own particular way. Is the old man dipper. You know, he drives an old, eight, an old 88 Chevy truck. He... Goes to the fucking diner every day, gets him an omelet and a cup of coffee, and he dips Copenhagen snuff on the daily basis for the past 20 years. And he has no teeth. And you know, he'll be sitting down there at the freaking um, diner, he'll give him a cup of coffee, have a big old Copenhagen snuff in. He'll sit, yeah, my, uh, my, my grandson is giving me hell, man, he's just... Every time he comes over, he he won't vacuum the floor for me, man. You know, he just wants me to fix some eggs and bacon. Shut the fuck up! You know, I really can't say much about it because I could probably see myself being that guy and all of us being that guy whenever we're older. Because I can tell you right now, I don't see me quitting dip for a very long time. Unless, knock on wood... Somebody, you know, I go to the doctor one day and they're like, yeah, you got mouth cancer. Which, if you did not know, you have a better chance of getting struck by a lightning or winning the fucking lottery of getting mouth cancer. Then I would probably quit, beat cancer, and then pack me a lid for beating cancer. But other than that, folks, this is another one of those videos that I'll probably do a part two on it. Because there's a ton of annoying dippers out there. You know, I could probably do a part three and a part four on this son of a bitch. But channel update, folks. We are up to 120 subscribers. Y'all mean the world to Country Boy TV. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can join the Country Boy TV family. But other than that, folks, I'm going to get on out of here. Make sure you like. Let's try to get um, 15 likes. Comment, tell me down below what you dipped on today. And tell me some video ideas. The next video will be a review on Longhorn Fine Cut Natural. It's basically like a poor man's Copenhagen snuff. A very poor man's Copenhagen snuff and it sucks. But other than that, I'm going to get on out of here, boy.